The Jewish revolts against Roman rule represent one of the most dramatic and tragic periods in Jewish history. Spanning several decades, these uprisings were fueled by religious, political, and social tensions between the Jewish population in Judea and the Roman Empire. The revolts culminated in significant events such as the destruction of the Second Temple in Jerusalem, the massacre at Masada, and the widespread dispersal of the Jewish people, known as the Diaspora. These revolts were not only military confrontations, but also a profound struggle for Jewish identity, autonomy, and religious freedom under oppressive foreign rule. The region of Judea came under Roman control in 63 BCE, when General Pompey the Great captured Jerusalem. Initially, Rome allowed a degree of autonomy, with local leaders such as Herod the Great ruling as client kings under Roman supervision. Herod's reign, 37-4 BCE, was marked by significant building projects, including the expansion of the Second Temple. But his rule was also characterized by brutality, heavy taxation, and allegiance to Rome, which alienated many Jews. After Herod's death, Judea experienced increasing unrest, exacerbated by the direct imposition of Roman governors, prefects, and procurators, who often lacked sensitivity to Jewish customs and religious practices. The Roman authorities imposed heavy taxes, desecrated religious sites, and used brutal force to suppress dissent, all of which fueled resentment among the Jewish population. The situation was further aggravated by deep-seated divisions within Jewish society itself, including conflicts between different sects such as the Pharisees, Sadducees, Essenes, and Zealots. The First Jewish-Roman War also known as the Great Revolt, began in 66 CE and was the first of the major Jewish uprisings against Roman rule. The immediate catalyst for the revolt was the confiscation of large sums of money from the temple treasury in Jerusalem by the Roman procurator Jesius Florus. This action, seen as a grave insult and sacrilege, sparked widespread outrage and rebellion across Judea. The revolt quickly escalated as various Jewish factions took up arms against the Roman forces. The Zealots, a militant anti-Roman group, played a leading role in the revolt, advocating for total independence from Rome. Initially, the Jewish rebels achieved several victories, including the defeat of the Roman garrison in Jerusalem and the establishment of a provisional government. However, the Roman response was swift and brutal. Emperor Nero dispatched General Vespasian, who, along with his son Titus, led a massive military campaign to crush the revolt. Roman legions methodically reconquered rebel-held territories, employing scorched earth tactics and besieging Jewish strongholds. By 70 CE, the Romans had laid siege to Jerusalem leading to one of the most catastrophic events in Jewish history. The Siege and Destruction of Jerusalem, 70 CE The siege of Jerusalem lasted several months, during which the city's inhabitants suffered from famine, disease, and internal strife. The zealots and other factions within the city fought each other, weakening their resistance against the Romans. In August 70 CE, Roman forces breached the city walls, leading to the fall of Jerusalem. The Romans set fire to the Second Temple, the most sacred site in Judaism, effectively destroying it. The Temple's destruction was a devastating blow to the Jewish people, symbolizing the loss of their religious and national identity. Thousands of Jews were killed, and many others were enslaved or fled into exile. The destruction of the Temple marked the end of the revolt and had profound consequences for Judaism, leading to the transformation of Jewish religious practices and the beginning of the Rabbinic period. Masada, 73 CE Although the fall of Jerusalem marked the end of major resistance, some Jewish rebels continued to resist the Romans. The most famous of these last stands occurred at Masada, a fortress built by Herod the Great 
on a plateau overlooking the Dead Sea. In 73 CE, Roman forces besieged Masada, where a group of zealots and their families had taken refuge. After several months, the Romans breached the fortress using a massive siege ramp. According to the historian Flavius Josephus, the defenders chose to commit mass suicide rather than be captured by the Romans, making Masada a powerful symbol of Jewish resistance and martyrdom. The Kedos War, also known as the Second Jewish-Roman War, occurred between 115 and 117 CE and was part of a wider series of rebellions against Roman rule across the eastern Mediterranean. The war took place during the reign of Emperor Trajan and was named after Lucius Quietus, a Roman general who played a key role in suppressing the revolts. In response, the Romans launched a brutal crackdown, with Quietus and other generals leading campaigns to suppress the revolts. The war resulted in widespread destruction and the decimation of Jewish communities in the affected regions. The war also intensified Roman hostility toward the Jews, leading to further repression and the strengthening of Roman control over Judea and other territories with significant Jewish populations. The Bar Kokhba Revolt, also known as the Third Jewish-Roman War, was the final and most intense of the Jewish uprisings against Rome. The revolt was led by Simon Bar Kokhba, who was regarded by many Jews as the Messiah and a liberator who would restore Jewish independence. The revolt was sparked by Emperor Hadrian's policies, which were perceived as hostile to Jewish religious practices and identity. Hadrian planned to rebuild Jerusalem as a Roman city called Aelia Capitolina and to construct a temple to Jupiter on the site of the destroyed Jewish temple. These plans, along with the banning of circumcision, were seen as an affront to Judaism and provoked widespread anger. In 132 CE, Simon Bar Kokhba led a large-scale rebellion against Roman rule, and for a time, the Jewish rebels succeeded in establishing an independent state in Judea. Bar Kokhba was hailed as the Prince of Israel, and coins were minted in his name, symbolizing the re-establishment of Jewish sovereignty. However, the Roman response was overwhelming. Emperor Hadrian dispatched one of his most capable generals, Julius Severus, to crush the revolt. The Romans employed scorched earth tactics, destroyed Jewish villages, and laid siege to rebel strongholds. The final battle took place at the fortress of Betar, where Bar Kokhba and his forces made their last stand. The fall of Betar in 135 CE marked the end of the Bar Kokhba revolt. The aftermath was devastating. Hundreds of thousands of Jews were killed, Judea was ravaged, and the Jewish population was decimated. Hadrian sought to erase Jewish identity and presence in the region by renaming Judea as Syria, Pala Estina, and prohibiting Jews from entering Jerusalem. The Jewish revolts against Roman rule had profound and far-reaching consequences for both the Jewish people and the Roman Empire. The most immediate and devastating consequence was the loss of Jewish autonomy and the destruction of the Second Temple, which had been the center of Jewish religious life. The destruction of the Temple in 70 CE marked the end of the sacrificial system of worship and led to the rise of Rabbinic Judaism, which emphasized the study of the Torah and prayer in place of Temple sacrifices. This transformation laid the foundation for modern Judaism and the development of Jewish communities in the Diaspora. The revolts also resulted in the dispersion of Jews across the Roman Empire and beyond, accelerating the Jewish diaspora. Jewish communities were established throughout the Mediterranean, Europe, and the Middle East, where they maintained their religious and cultural identity despite the challenges of living under foreign rule. The Roman response to the revolts was brutal and left a legacy of bitterness and mistrust between Jews and the Roman authorities. The repression of Jewish uprisings reinforced the perception of Jews as a rebellious and ungovernable people, leading to further persecution and discrimination. 
Hadrian's policies after the Bar Kokhba revolt, particularly the renaming of Judea as Syria Palestina and the ban on Jews entering Jerusalem, were attempts to erase Jewish identity from the region. These actions had a lasting impact on the historical and political landscape of the region, contributing to the complex and often contentious history of Palestine. The Jewish revolts against Roman rule are remembered as defining moments in Jewish history, representing the struggle for freedom, identity, and religious autonomy. The revolts are commemorated in Jewish tradition and memory as acts of heroism and resistance against overwhelming odds. The destruction of the Second Temple and the subsequent Jewish diaspora profoundly shaped Jewish religious and cultural identity. The revolts and their aftermath also played a significant role in the development of Christianity, which emerged from the same historical and cultural context. In modern times, the Jewish revolts, particularly the Stand at Masada and the Bar Kokhba revolt, have been invoked as symbols of Jewish resilience and the determination to resist oppression. These historical events continue to resonate in the collective memory of the Jewish people and are celebrated in Israeli culture as part of the national narrative of survival and independence.